Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. Over the next few weeks, I thought I'd do a series of very short Luminar AI videos, just giving you a real quick tip on how to do something in Luminar AI. Today, I'm going to teach you how to make an image look like a retro film image. Now, of course, Luminar has a lot of templates you could do this with, and it has specific tools that might help you do this. But the way I'm going to show you, I think is a little more versatile. It gives you a little more control and you could modify it to suit your needs on an image to image basis, which you can't always do with templates or with specific tools. I have this image here. I just processed it lightly the way I wanted it uh, to be processed, but I want to give it this retro film look. So to do that. The first thing I need to do is go to the light filter and go down to curves and go over to the curve and on the far left hand corner just push that up and you can see how it's kind of giving it this washed out matte look that's kind of the film look so we do that first after we kind of processed it so we did that now what we need to do is go down to toning and with toning we're going to give the shadows a bit of a blue tone so we're going to click on shadows and to get to move the hue slider, you have to move the saturation slider at least a little bit. And we're going to give it a blue tone, as I mentioned. So move it over into the blue area. That's somewhere around 240-ish. You don't have to be exact. And again, the advantage of doing, that this, doing it this way is you could kind of um, make it custom for every image you do. So you may do one image at 230 and another one at 245, and you may vary the saturation also. I think right there looks pretty good. Now we're going to go to the highlights and we're going to give the highlights a yellow tint. And again, we have to move saturation off of zero in order to move the hue. And we're going to move this around yellow and that's around 60, you know. So again, it's not exact. You can see already we have that kind of film look. Now you could adjust the amount of the film look you want to give it with the amount slider, a heavier to a lesser look. Kind of like maybe a little bit of a lesser look, just a little bit. And you also could affect the balance. The balance will make either highlights dominate over shadows or shadows dominate over highlights with the balance slider. You can see if I move it to left, it's getting more of the, the shadows toning throughout the image. If I move it to the right, it's more of the highlights toning. I liked it right in the middle. And that's it. That's super easy how you could give an image a retro film look in Luminar AI. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.